All right, I've got more batteries in the mail. Let's see what we got. I ordered these from Battery Hookup. And these are gonna go on my solar generator, which I still need to make a video about. Anyways, let's see what we got. Surprise, surprise, there are more of these guys. Let's see if I can get these out. Oh yeah, these are heavy. So these are the big 55 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells, and I got eight more. And these are really nice because they have really big terminals on the end. So what I do is I squish some copper pipe and make bus bars. So I got eight more of these to put them in a 2P4S configuration. That's gonna give me another 110 amp hours. So with this new uh, box of batteries, we're gonna have 110 amp hours, 110 amp hours, 150 amp hours. So the total is gonna be what? 220 plus 150, that's 320, 370, uh, 370 amp hours. And of course you can do the watt hour conversion 13.2 times. 370 is about how much kilo, uh, watt hours this system will have when I'm done. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the new box of cells I got. It's always exciting. I got these from Battery Hookup. They get them in stock and they always sell it really fast. So actually I got two boxes. This box is going to be for that project. And then in another video, we're going to make a the ultimate portable power solar little power station and we're going to be using a milwaukee pack out to do that so that's actually for a good friend of mine so look forward to that video coming pretty soon but these i'm just going to kind of open up lay it out and then i got to figure out how i'm going to i think i'm going to stack them underneath those so when i'm all said and done i'll have a just a big old stack and i don't know if i want to reconfigure this one that way it can use the same bms so it would be a 4p 4s configuration instead of a 2p 4s if that makes sense so i just add two more strings of parallel or two more cells to make a four parallel string series those up to get our 13.2 volt nominal which is what our bms is for and because it's a 12 volt setup and that's it so let me get these out and kind of lay them out and kind of see what we're going to do with them Damn, it's hot out here. All right, so what do we have here? Hey guys, it's Mike. So I wanted to bring you guys a solar video. I like making solar videos. The sun's out today. It's really, uh, really hot. So I actually scored a couple of, uh, 180 watt solar panels on Facebook Marketplace for the good price of $40 each. So I have seven panels. I've already installed one on my little setup here. And uh, there's my wiring, as you can see. It's code compliant. Um, so we have 180 watts and two 75 watt boys. So this is the outside array. Excuse my messy backyard. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you what we're running with it. What's up guys, welcome back to another solar vlog video. Coming at you from Central Texas, it's extremely hot. If you're from anywhere in the south, maybe even the north, it's been extremely hot over the last uh, at least a month. So anyways, in this video, I kinda wanna go over a cool little setup I've been working on and show you guys what's going on. So I guess to start out, I have 480 watt solar panels and I have these wired two in series, two in series, and those two in parallel because the max input voltage of my charge controller is only 100 volts and two of these together is 75. So I got those pretty jankly wired together. These are the panels I used to have. I used to have this one and then these two older 75 watts, but I found a really good deal on Facebook Marketplace from a guy in my area and I picked up a bunch of these uh, 180 watt, I think that's 185 um, solar panel. So anyways, I'm only gonna run four for right now. My charge controller is pretty much maxed out with these four. So I'll, show, I'll take you guys in the house and show y'all what we're running with it. All right guys, now we're inside. I wanna show you guys the main unit here. So those solar panels are coming into this charge controller right here. This is a Renogy Rover. It's a 40 amp MPPT. So multi-point power tracking. During the day we get about almost close to 40 out of the display here. Right now we're pushing about 32, but it's not even full sun out. That goes into our battery bank right here, this is 150, I'm sorry, 110 amp hours, and there's another 150 amp hours of uh, lithium iron phosphate, and those are in parallel, and this has its own dally BMS, that has its own dally BMS, so it's all BMS, 
these both feed into the sh mark shunt and then to our main bus bars here and this is what we run all our stuff power comes in and out through these bus bars we have a big 150 amp fuse here and then this is our power inverter and right now we're running our air conditioner window ac with it so the house's main central air is completely turned off so this is completely free running the house and kind of the goal behind this is to have you know keep the house as cool as possible fight the heat not stress the ac out and it's going to save money on the electricity probably not a whole lot but with the heat being as high as it's been lately we get a lot of sun and i really wanted to try to run it so so far it's working pretty good i'll show you the smart shunt on this cheap amazon tablet so there you go we are with the sun coming in minus what we're using we're still negative 110 watts which means we should add one more panel would get us to break even at a bare minimum but like i said the charge controller can only run it's pretty much maxed out so we can't add any more solar right now but that's okay so as you can see this is kind of what we're what we got going on 68 percent state of charge this has probably been running now for probably four hours since i got up this morning but i think in my next video i'm gonna i actually have another eight of these cells so in the next video we're actually going to add eight more of these maybe put them right here so we're gonna uh give us another 110 amp hours of power so this is just kind of the base video i just wanted to show you guys the system i've had this system together now for over a year and i mainly use it to charge like my power tool batteries my rc car batteries down there lipos and all that good stuff so also my electric lawnmower but it's been pretty kick butt um especially in the texas summer right now so like i said i was able i just hooked the air conditioner up just to see if it would run it this pulls about 500 watts at full power uh, the inverter doesn't seem to mind it i don't really like this inverter the fans like to kick on really really loud so i kind of glued this blower fan on it that way it doesn't have to use the internal fans because they're extremely extremely loud when they kick on so we are going to end up changing that in the near future and i would also like to obviously get a bigger charge controller but so far this is uh set us oop i'm stripped this set has been pretty reliable so like i said i'm going to make another video showing you guys upgrading this so thank you for watching